welcome to yet another interesting session of conversational english we all know that many a times we are stuck up with vocabulary or choice of words to speak in simple english and conversational english is definitely not that difficult what difficulty is and ever was that we are unable to apply it in a simplified manner today with conversational english what we will deal with is day to day communication that gets in a routine so something coming out from our daily life and a reflection to learn from and again giving back to the daily life so if you all are ready let's understand what is routine conversation that we do it every now and then every day very regularly with everyone most of us we are involved with talking to each other so what is that it's that main a buzzword called a small talk and what do you mean by small talk it is a small conversation which we do it with n number of people so let's try and understand how smaller talks can be influenced so what you are aware of you are aware of what you do not then you should be better aware of simple what you know be proud of but what you what you do not know i think you should be learning that so that's that's the first point second point is how do you do that how will you make things aware to yourself the simplest thing that you can do is to imbibe how will you imbibe learn from the colloquial language learn from the colloquial transactions that you do it from a routine life that's precisely what i mean from routine conversation so if you're not aware of anything go to your colloquial let's see watch observe and listen maybe learn from that colloquial language what that you have come across as a new word add to your dictionary and know the meaning of it colloquial when i say then it's the first inner circle whenever you meet people it is more often than not our closest circle the inner circle and those are our friends colleague peer classmates go and learn from them so learning where from from the colloquial routine and peer how so where if you have learned where do you practice strangers are the best people to practice with don't undermine the importance of strangers in our life they are there just because we keep meeting them and some of them turn out to be our best friends even otherwise they help us to maybe come out of a fear and uh, practice with them whatever we are learning from our peer or colloquial routine right uh, one good step to get aware and experiment uh, are the strangers so what it does is it helps us to master this the peer learning and you know, it helps us to build a lot of vocabulary and choice of word and makes our life little easy this easiness what it does is it further builds the confidence and what confidence does is it helps us to grow further in our personal lives and of course in our professional life too tips and tricks in terms of how you are going to do it as an individual if you are the first timer or the beginner how what you will do the first thing first is get friendly create that kind of an environment um, in in and around you so that people can be accessible you are approachable and you are getting friendly friendly second is take pressure of yourself why do you do that you are learning others are learning to you don't know their pressure so why you are under pressure so if you have understood that there are people around who all are in a learning mode nobody is perfection they are far from it and they all are in a learning mode that's the reason they are there where you are also going your institution your coaching class your mentor that peer the circle you name it i think the environment will same so we as far as the environment is same it is there for us to learn third thing is know what the world is more than you if you think that the world is uh, kind kind of getting influenced or not bothering you nothing nobody has to uh, do anything with you it is your life you need to take control and you need to see for sure and that, that's most inevitable that world is something which is outside you inside you is your self consciousness your willingness your readiness to improve yourself okay fourth thing is be yourself don't try to ape anyone don't try to copy anyone it's like you 
every natural disposition of yours projection of yours is as a unique thing so uh, you don't need to copy anyone just be yourself and whatever way the natural way that you have your learning pattern stick to it i think that is most important avoid always answering one word question which i also call as close ended question yes no there that direction i you do these are the questions to be avoided these are uh, answers to the uh, to the questions bigger questions and you are ending it abruptly it is blunt it is not at all it's rude it's not at all professionalism so please avoid answering in in a single word and the most important thing that a world comes to you or you go to any person in the world is smile sport a great smile right uh, you know if you if you can start getting friendly the first thing that you should be doing which i have put it as a last point but i am very very conscious about this aspect be it your body language be it your self being now the facial expressions are almost mask in this torrid time of covid 19 but smile still can be seen through eyes so smile has many languages just put it and win friends so this is these are some of the few tips and tricks that i'm dropping as a hint but this is where we are we are heading to let's talk about meet and greet so the first time uh, when you are meeting a stranger i have talked about strangers so what do you do you meet them and greet them so how you are going to do it i am going to give you a lot of phrases from this, this particular learning so you will have lot of phrases to you know exercise them and exploit to the hilt so that you become ease grow in confidence and your growth path opens for you right so the first thing is hi if you meet a stranger what do you do hi my name is manish nair so the reply to this will be hello mr nair this is aniket so you can you are replying so you should be replying in this way if let's say hi my name is manish nair what's your good name this is a nice way to you know break the ice with a stranger what else you can say you can also say where are you from mr nair you are from kerala okay i am from nagpur the third you can ask a question is what do you do mr nair oh you are a trainer okay i am a student what else what brings you here mr nair okay you are a trainer so you have come to train in this college okay i see okay looking forward to maybe get few lessons from you mr nair nice meeting you and the answer for nice meeting you is always pleasure is mine and the next thing next thing that comes immediately is good day to you and the reply should be thanks and good day to you as well so that's how is a comprehensive way of few phrases that can be very well exploited while meeting strangers okay if you are meeting the same person let's say for the second time so second time around if you are with the same same person hey what a coincidence nice to meet you again this should be the first thing or you can also say is it that good monday today because the last time i met it was a monday and it was a pleasure pleasure meeting you some phrases that really appeal you know it brings smile and that builds that connect you know helps you to build that level 2 connect the second thing can be so how are you today okay that's very heartening that you are good you can answer it in three different way that's heartening nice to know that okay and what else still what's your routine like mr nair uh he'll have his own reply like uh, all these days in the on the weekdays i'm busy but sundays are exceptional i am not that busy and what's yours so if he ask you can always say usually i have the same except for sundays what else what do you do as hobby or what do you do to unwind yourself or what is your idea of taking a break right this this could be a question asked to the same person the same stranger you are meeting for the second time okay what else if you have already found an interest in a hobby with that person you can and if it is not matching yours so you can have one more question to ask are you also fond of music maybe movies or games and etc etc whatever that comes to your mind that helps you to to bridge that gap and see that both of you are almost on the same page moving on let's elaborate and see how many phrases we can have for elaboration one is 
that is a really nice hat if you're seeing a person and if you are let's say if you have liked his hat his uh, his or her you know watch maybe mobile phone or a bag you can appreciate any of any of them and you can elaborate right uh, hey that's a nice watch where did you get it from another thing is i really like your shoes did you get them near here third way that's a cool looking phone is it easy to use the fourth way excuse me do you have the time time means watch here are do you know what time it is hi is the seat taken if the answer is no then you can follow up with do you mind if i sit here these are the few elaborations that you can do sitting with the uh, you know taking advantage of the situation and maybe you know clicking with time there's one more pardon me do you know what time this place closes let's say if you are if you are somewhere uh, in the inquiring about the restaurant if you are inquiring of a cafe store or a mall any place and if you happen to stop by and ask anyone i think this is one of the very very good way uh, do you know what time this place is place opens or closes whichever way i think this should be a great thing acknowledgement uh, acknowledgement is when you are actually thanking so thanks for that suggestion i'll definitely visit that shoe store and buy one for my dad i appreciate the information that you have given me on that hat thank you thank you that was really helpful the phone that you explained to me uh, you can use it it's a very user friendly so you i can i can use it too so maybe i'll plan it next time is it store near here thank you was it good value if it is then i really appreciate never never ask the cost factor up front always let the cost factor coming from the other person or you can ask at the last right do they have other colors available because my dad always wanted a brown shoe this is a, okay thank you for informing me the reason i asked is because i've been thinking about replacing my phone so the same person you have asked for the phone uh, user friendly or not you're saying that i am actually looking for a new phone if that is good i'll appreciate if you can you know uh, maybe give me some more detail on it i've been looking for a hat like that to give it to my friend he likes hat so the same person you have asked the hat how good uh, it was looking on him you are asking him further where he has got it from yay the shoes are getting worn out so it's time to get a new pair right thank you for suggesting a good store and as always if someone is being helpful don't forget to thank them let's move on and explore a few more questions how we can you know explore in terms of interacting with the same stranger for the second time are you from this area so uh, what do you do for a living what brings you here today do you come here a lot do you mind telling me where is this building I am figuring out for some location you know what is the right time to catch this bus actually i come every day but i find that my timing does not match the bus timing so what is a good time which is the nearest place where i can fix my shoes oh they are badly torn up i need it badly so would you please suggest a watch repair shop nearby maybe i need to replace the battery or a cell could you lend me your phone as i've run out of my battery i quickly you know call up my an important call and give you back thank you i love cats in fact i have two at my home what type of cats do you have if something uh, is discussed on the pets i think you can say this if anything comes on the sport football football is my favorite sport what team do you support so you can name any of the team right so these are a few exploring questions which you can do it very well there are so many plenty of them right so explore yourself and maybe pick up any from these phrases and exercise let's have few opinion questions i don't know what do you think sometimes you are asking a person i don't know actually what do you think so that's asking for an opinion uh has that been your experience too because i have been experiencing you know only one sided is it the same with you you can ask this as an again asking for an opinion seeking opinion 
and this uh, there is one more way has it ever happened to you you know when while moving we always forget something to you know leave it in our office and that next morning it, it gets reminded and sometimes it is tiffin box and sometimes it is water bottle and sometimes it's a you know laptop charger how is it in your opinion i mean do you have uh, ever happened to you also i mean i'm i'm really forgetful of that uh, there could be one more way why do you think that is the case so you are seeking opinion and there are n number of ways to seek is that a good or a bad thing will you suggest it uh, to others too if you have fi- if you are finding it you know very useful to yourself will you do you mind telling me the details of the phone that you have bought what is your experience kind of the- so seeking opinion asking for an opinion you can have n number of phrases you know working for you let's go beyond and see if there are few questions on whether they are inviting questions as well so the first thing is let's have uh, when you're thinking of a longer talk then you need to have a uh, inviting question what are they so just to give you a few example in terms of phrases uh, i'm not bothering you am i one two is sorry for taking up so much of your time do you need to go now I just realized you are probably the middle of something. Do you have time to chat please? Let me know if this is a good time to talk. I don't want to take up all your time. Hi, busy. May I quickly know your availability for something very important? So these can be a very very important inviting questions. What can be the closing one? Let's quickly see. Well, if you ever want to chat again, I am usually here every Monday afternoon. So you are actually trying to close something, right? Let me give you my email address. If you are ever in the area again, I'd be it would be great to meet up. Closing question. Feel free to call me if you want to hang out here. I will give you my number. And remember to make them feel appreciated to write every time when you whenever you are closing that close ended question may not be elaborative so you need to appreciate and close it nicely which is a workable idea and it should be a win win situation for both you and the person involved I really enjoyed your chat thank you so much that's the appreciation that you need to give it was really nice meeting you I had a great time talking with you. Hope to see you again soon. So these are the questions you can ask. Oh, okay, now asking questions to a group, how that uh, tricky it goes. So has anyone ever experienced this? This could be one to the group. The second could be how many of you think that this will turn the other side and you are addressing the group? the third could be to a lot of you believe that the sky is actually meeting the earth fourth one which one of you would you will go with whether this side or that side or you can direct it to an individual just be sure not to single them out in an uncomfortable way because singling out in a group will be taken it may not be uh, uh, with a great subtlety so here are example how do you do it so what do you think rutuja has it ever happened to you right you are singling out but at the same time in very subtle way hey romer didn't you also or do it so these are the way you can connect it with a group another way of connecting is actually feven Didn't you go there last year too? You should ask Pratik about that. He had the same thing happen to him. Sanskar has the same phone. Where did you get your Sanskar? This can help people feel like a part of the group. Of course, don't let out anyone's secret, you know, if you are knowing it. Few questions, closing question for the group. Hey, I better get going. I have a long day tomorrow. Hey guys, sorry, but I have to run. It was great chatting with you all. Oh man, it's getting late. I better head out. 
All right, guys, time for me to go. Have a good day. So these are few of the questions that you can very well put it across in terms of your group conversation. Conversational phrases in a restaurant or a cafe. So you can ask people or you know have this, these phrases under your belt. Do you have a recommendation on any good dishes here? What would you recommend for someone who hasn't eaten here before? What is the best drink here? Do you know if the sandwich is any good? Have you ever had the barbecue here? If you had to eat just one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? What is your favorite dessert? What is your favorite spicy dish? They don't like spicy? Great. Ask them why and keep the conversation going. So dropping few ideas, hope this will definitely be appreciated. Okay. And you can always say enjoy your pasta, enjoy your ice cream, enjoy your cake. Have a good meal. That's what you can say in a restaurant or a cafe someone home let's say someone calls you and if you are not very very conversant or uh, you are maybe meeting lot of strangers there so few phrases for at someone's home how long have you lived here in the locality where did you get this uh, bookshelf from you can turn that bookshelf into television or chair or cabinet etc etc what is your favorite thing about this house so if you are going to a house and you can, you are asking the owner hey tell me what is your favorite thing about this house how many people live here so how many member family members are you in case if you can ask you know you can go ahead and ask it how many rooms does this house have is this house close to a school a park or an airport you can think of any or your workplace you can think of anything and ask it how far away is the supermarket from this place your house and here are few home specific statements that you can say when leaving someone's home what are they hey thank you for having me over thanks for inviting me to your home i had a wonderful time if you happen to speak to a stranger anywhere on the street what do you do Do you know where this bakery is around here? What street is this? Do you know what time bus number 36 comes by? Right, any bus random bus number. Where can I buy a bottle of water? What is your favorite thing about this park? So let's say if you are in and around park, you can ask this question. How crowded are the buses when they get to this stop? I really want to avoid that. Can you recommend a good restaurant around here? This can be followed by what is your favorite dish there? If you can recommend me, thank you so much. So, if you happen to go to airport, there are lots of phrases that you can you use it here. Have they announced the boarding time for this flight? Is there a place to charge a phone nearby? So, where are you headed to? Do you know what time we arrive at the destination? Is this your preferred airline? Followed by why is it that? Are you flying home or are you flying away from home? What is the favorite place you have ever visited? Have you ever had the chance to fly in first or business class? Then what was uh, it like? S- Can you recommend any good restaurant or sites in Oslo? On the job, my god, on the job you have a terrific time. How did you come to work here? And what do you uh, come by? Is it you take the bus or you come by your own bike or a car? What is your favorite place to eat lunch near the office? What do you enjoy most about your job? Tell me. What is your eventual career plan? What do you think is the most important thing to succeed in this company? Right? These many questions can be very well phrased, right? Asking a newcomer or while you are there, you can ask the others, your colleagues, right? How many members we have here? 
Uh, where is a kitchen or a washroom or the printer? Anything that is of your interest, and you phrase any of them and get comfortable phrases on the job. Where can I keep my tiffin box? Right? If you are taking it every day, tiffin box. So while you are as a student, few phrases that will be very, very handy. Just quickly rush through that. And what could be there? How long have you been a student here? What are you studying? What do you recommend to eat on campus? Do you know a good quiet place to study other than library? What do you plan to do when you finish your studies? As you can see, you really can make friends anywhere and you should never be at a loss for a way to start up a conversation. Right? Never, never. So you are meeting your own uh, student, peer, same age, always easy to crack a conversation with them. Uh, at the party, what could be the phrases? How do you know the birthday person you are asking, right? Are you surprised? How do you know that? Uh, where did you come to know from? That means you are not surprised. What do you think of this birthday cake? Hey, what is the best birthday party you have ever been to? Tell me. If you could relive any year of your life, which one would it be? Hey, when's your birthday? You are around and you are asking others to, right? Did you like the surprise? How's the day so far? You can ask a beautiful question like this because normally the birthday is full of activity, right? And full of occupancy, you are occupied. So you can very well ask and, and you know, you'll definitely get some good answers here. So at the party, now at the wedding, let's say at the wedding, you have several phrases coming your way. Are you a friend of the bride or the groom? It was the best wedding you have ever been to. If you are going to plan the perfect wedding for your best friend, what would it be like? Do you like dressing up in formal attire? Do you know where they are going on their honeymoon? A lot of questions, easy made. At sporting event, what, uh, what could be the possible phrases? Who do you think will win? Have you been following all the matches this season? Who's your favorite player? Do you play this sport yourself? What do you think the score will be? And when it comes to the concert, what kind of phrases you can have? What's your favorite song of theirs? Nice band, right? Do you play music yourself? Or do you play an instrument? Or do you sing? How often do you go to such shows? What do you like about this performer? Do you like something? You must be definitely tell me. He's summarizing. I told you be friendly. Even if the other person doesn't have time to talk, at least they will appreciate your pleasant demeanor. So show that kind of a demeanor. Take pressure off yourself. How do you do that? When you come in with expectations, you may become easily disappointed. Just have fun. Let whatever happens, happens. It will happen for good only. Talk about them. Right? Don't talk about yourself. They don't want to hear your life story. Nobody does. At least not yet. No? Let them be get you know get comfortable with you, then certainly they will be interested in you and know, know more about you. Ask them questions that show you want to get to know them better and they'll probably reciprocate with the same zing and energy. Be yourself. I've been t telling this, no need to make up an impressive story to get someone's attention. Just be yourself and tell the truth the way you are. Ask open-ended question. A yes or a no is a strict no. Cannot be a conversational. It puts every conversation to a dead end. So ask questions that spur on further discussion. Thank you. And I hope this has really you know, opened your eyes. Simple conversational phrases that go a long, long way. If you have still any query, you can drop your comment and I will be of great help to you. Thank you.